Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to TSD with a very special guest tonight, uh, the president of Chad, Mr. United States. Oh, uh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, my mistake. The president of the United States, Mr. Chad Lawhorn. Welcome to the show, Mr. President. Uh, how are you? I'm doing fantastic, sir. Thanks, sir. All right, Mr. President. Uh, thank you for joining the show tonight. Uh, I've received a few questions from from viewers and some pre some. Some more uh, governmental, some not so governmental. So uh, let's get started, shall we? All right. Uh, first question about the economy. What do you plan to do about this hard economy and the direction it's going? Well, I, my advisors I have met on this uh, issue many times, and what, I'm, what we're really thinking about doing is kind of just letting it go, see where, just see where it goes down the path. I mean, uh, here in the United States, we have a very special economy. It's a, it's a self-repairing economy. So. Uh, as long as you let it go, it will eventually get better. So it'll, it'll the go path down it's path. on. The path it's on is, is destruction. Yeah, well, it, we're planning on it hitting rock bottom. That's part of the, the plan. Once it hits the rock bottom, kind of like an alcoholic or a drug abuser, it'll realize that it has nowhere else to go, um, that it's a loser, and it has to fix itself. So it'll start going to church and AA meetings, and it'll get back on its feet, uh, rebuild bridges between its family, and become a good economy again. Interesting. Interesting points, Mr. President. Interesting points. Uh, the second question is about uh, U.S. military operations uh, across, across the globe. Uh, there's been a lot of them recently, especially with the North Korea stuff going on. Yeah. Do you plan on continuing those operations uh, as president or, or bringing the troops back home? Well, North Korea is an interesting case. Uh, North Korea, they have very uh, strategic vulnerability uh, in the region of Pakistan uh, and Bangladesh. So we, we plan on full-scale invasion of those two countries, which will completely render North Korea useless. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I, don't, I don't quite understand how Bangladesh and Pakistan have anything to do with... We're probably going to set up shop in Montana, um, because there's a lot of open space there and plenty of room for uh, military expansion. Um, and they, they, have a, they have a horrible uh, poverty crisis there. Uh, as it borders Cameroon, and so, is there something wrong? Where, where is Cameroon exactly? It's in North America. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's been there the whole time. <laughs> yeah, we actually, we actually already own Montana. It's a state? Yeah. How many of those things we have? 50? 50. Almost 51. God damn. <laughs> well, I've just been dropped a little bit of information. From, from, uh, from the PA here. Uh, turns out Montana's actually a state. I had no idea. I, I was aware of that. Really? Yes, yes I was. I, I, don't, I suppose no one tells me anything. I figured the president, the president would, right? I would think the president would know that Montana was a state. I mean, this really just turns my entire world upside down. I mean, it's not like it matters, though. It's not a real state. It's just it's kind of a fake, a fake piece of land. Um, yeah, well, I really don't. I don't really know about what the military does. Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and say that. I just let it kind of do what it wants. Um, it's understand. Expands understand. here and there, and, and does things. Well, we got to keep rolling. Uh, as a, we don't have a limited amount of time here. Uh, our third question uh, is is not really government related. Uh, it's about the excessive vacations you take. Uh, are are these for business or or pleasure? No, absolute pleasure. I mean. I hate the White House, really. I mean, it's really, I, I didn't really want to be president. It's just kind of a, a gambling thing. I lost a bet, so I had to run, and I just happened to win, because the American people are really stupid. So, so you're saying that you, you are a gambling man, then? Yes, I love to gamble. Have you, have you ever gambled with U.S. money? Uh, like US... Actually, yeah, the last trillion dollars that was just added, that was me. Uh, China, Russia, and I, we, you know, we always have this, like, uh, get together and just have a big gambling party, generally. Uh, not, nothing, not, not too big of a deal. Really. All right then. All right. Uh, what is what are your what is your stance on same sex marriage? Are you calling me gay? You just you seem to be really thrusting. I'm thrusting not gay. That Who bill told through. you that I was gay? No one told me you were was gay. It bill? Was it Bill Clinton? No. Did he tell I you that I was I've gay? never spoken to Bill Clinton in my life. You sure? I'm positive. He's been telling people I'm gay. I don't yes, appreciate he? it. So I'm not gay. No matter what you hear, I'm not gay. I'm gay. Next question. American president is not gay. Yeah. Not. What is your uh, what is your favorite world leader right now? Hmm, probably Vladimir Putin. 
because I mean, he's almost bald like me, so we kind of like automatically get together. Like, and, and we, well, we've you gotten, gambled a trillion dollars away with him, so. Yeah, I mean, we've gotten pretty close during the, the gambling thing. Um, he, he's really good at poker. That's why I lost a lot of that money. Um, he, he's just a really nice guy. I mean, he has a tight-knit intelligence program over there. Uh, he, he arrests pretty much anybody that he suspects. Um, and that really keeps the entire country safe. So, so you support his, his just arresting anybody that he thinks is... Is, uh, yeah, but obviously threat. bad. I mean, anything Vladimir Putin, I, I trust what he says. If he says that kid, you know, is a terrorist. Is it, isn't Vladimir Putin ex KGB though? Yeah, but I mean, it, as he says, the KGB taught him how to love, and that is something we should take to heart and remember. And I think that deep down inside, Vladimir Putin is uh, is a great he's a great man, and uh, hmm. I would even support him as uh, president of the United States someday. That's how. That's how uh, highly. I, I don't. I don't I take think that. I don't think that he can become president of the United States. Is that, is that a. Is that a true? Pretty sure that he's not born here, so he can't become president. Well, you know, things happen. So we. We never know what the future might hold. Uh, if we. If we read history, it tells us that. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, next question. What is the. What is your favorite thing about yourself? I really like how intuitive I am. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty uh, intelligent, really. I, w I went to seven different schools. I mean, I had to drop out a lot of them as well, the, the failing. Oh, so I, ha we, I had to have Can, I, can I introduce you? We, we had a question that just come in uh, from an anonymous user. Okay. Um, they want to know if, uh, if you're gay. Who's, who sent that? I, I was just told by the PA here. Is it Bill Clinton? That it's Bill Clinton, isn't it? He's been doing this for several years, even, even before I was president. He's been doing this. He always does it on Twitter all the time. He just got a Twitter account, you know, and now he's just like, oh, he's gay, brother is gay. You know what? I'm really tired of it. I mean, if he's here right now, I'm going to kick his ass. I'm going to kick Billy Jeff's ass. I don't have time for this. I mean, what do I pay the Secret Service for anyway? Yeah, you guys out there, we're going to brown the entrances. I mean, holy fuck. No more ice cream at all. I mean, ice cream day, ice cream Sunday in the White House, over. You guys, no more of that. you actually not allowed to say words like the F word? I'm the uh, president. I can say what I want, right? This, this is a live program. Uh, next question. Uh, your foreign policy, uh, your relations have, with other countries have really risen in the past few years. Uh, do you plan to continue uh, working with other countries? I'm glad you asked that question. I mean, over the years, sitting down with all those morons, I mean, I'm really tired of it. This. We have to do this with peace and world hunger. That I just don't care. This who, is America. Why do we care? Who are, who are the fine. morons? Who are the morons? All the other 500 countries. All those people. That all get in that meeting, and we have we sit down and do everything. That they honor whatever. There aren't 500 other countries. Countries. What do you mean? There were less than 200. But they all go. They haven't gone anywhere. But there's like 6,000 or something That'll in go. the United States alone. You mean counties? That's those counties. I always thought it was countries. Do you? Well, uh, thank you everybody for coming out today and watching the show. Uh, my name is Neil Davis, and this is former President Chad Lawhorn uh, joining us oh. on the show today. What thank you, you for watching. What do you mean by former? This has been MTSU's newsroom.